All right, in this video I want to talk about solving systems of linear equations by graphing. And this is going to be a simple example in that we have two, two equations. And in this case, the idea, the basic idea is you just simply graph them and look for any points of intersection. And this is true even if you don't have, you know, if you have graphs, if you have systems of equations that are nonlinear. But we're just going to restrict ourselves to linear equations because they're a little more simple. Um, hopefully you remember how to graph linear equations. I'm going to step through that part a little bit, uh, you know, a little more quickly. Um, but hopefully review it a little bit. So we want to solve the system of equations. Uh, 5x minus y equals 6 and 2x plus y equals 8. And again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a, a value for x and y that we can plug into both equations simultaneously and get, um, get, get a, a, a true statement. So, you know, we could ask ourselves, is 0, 8 a solution? And again, the basic idea is we would, we would plug it into both of them. Notice if you plug it into the first equation, we get 5 times 0 minus 8. Well, that's certainly not 6. Notice if you plug it into the second one, we get 2 times 0 plus 8. And hey, that does equal 8, but since it messes up the first equation, um, we would say, no, it's not a solution. It has to make both equations happy at the same time, is the idea. Okay, so again, if you've seen other techniques, there's certainly, you know, other ways to do these, but I just want to talk about graphing in this, in this video. So we've got the equation 5x minus y equals 6. I'm going to write it in slope-intercept form, which if you'll recall is y equals mx plus b. m represents the slope, and the b is our y-intercept. Okay. So I'm simply going to write it in this form. The first thing I'm going to do is add y to both sides. So we would have 5x. These are certainly uh, not like terms, so I'm going to keep them separated have y plus 6, and then I'm just going to subtract the 6 from both sides. So minus 6, minus 6, and then we have the equation y equals 5x minus 6. So that's, uh, maybe we can go ahead and graph that one real quick. Again, different ways to graph. Again, the reason I did this was so that I can read off the slope and the y-intercept. So it says the y-intercept is negative 6, so negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's negative 6, so there's one point that the line goes through. And then it says the slope is 5, um, so the slope is 5, and we can write that as 5 over 1 if we want to write it as a fraction. And all that means is you go up 5 units and over 1 unit. So that would put us, I believe, at 1, negative 1. If we go up another 5 units, um, that should put us at the y value of 1, 2, 3, 4, and the x value of 2. So there would be the point 2, 4. And again, all we really need is just two points, but I went ahead and graphed an extra one. That is supposed to be a line. Um, if I had a nice, you know, pretty computer software, it would look a little bit more like a line. So hopefully, hopefully that's good enough. So that's one of our lines, and then all we have to simply do is graph the other line as well. 2x plus y equals 8. This one's a little bit easier to put in slope-intercept form. We can just subtract 2x from both sides. That'll give us y equals, we could write this as 8 minus 2x. I'm going to write it as negative 2x plus 8, just to keep it. Um, I like to put my x, you know, out front, just so I can see the slope. So that's going to be our other line. So again, this says it has a y-intercept positive 8. And then it says the slope is negative 2 over 1, so we simply go down 2 units to the right 1 unit. So down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Hey, notice if you go down 2 over 1, this my, my second equation also goes through this point 2, 4. That's where these two lines crisscross. And what that means is, it says a solution to the system of equations is the point 2, 4. And notice you can check these. This is something you can always check, um, you know, on a test or a quiz if you, you know, if you have a second. 
Notice if you plug in um, x equals 2 and y equals 4, we do get 6 out for the first equation. Notice if you plug in x equals 2 and y equals 4, we get 8 out for the second equation. So um, again, kind of the nice thing about this is all you're doing is just graphing. Um, so you know, a little tedious. And again, it, it works for nonlinear systems as well. Um, but you know, suppose the solution was not nice whole numbers. Um, it would certainly be hard to read that off from a graph, I think. So certainly some upsides and some downsides, but I hope this video makes some sense. Um, as always, feel free to post comments or questions.